Hello everyone, this is Brian LaDuke. I made a video in the past on an alternative on how to create knockout space, but I think I came up with an even better idea on how to create knockout space now. So I'm going to uh, scroll it into these icons. Like These are different icons I made. I'm making different uh, modern looking icons. I mean, th these are what I'm going to be using instead. And I didn't create this. This is a, something I... I'm just using some references. So in this in this case, we're going to be looking at this one. So you'll see that the gap space here isn't really the same. So if we look at all my files, see this is one size and then this is a shorter size. But when I was making this one, the pictures um, icon, I realized something we could do. I realized something I could do instead to make everything the same size. Now there are a lot of tricks, so I'm going to show you what I did. So this is an older an older icon I made with a bitmap program back in the time. So I'm going to um, create a new layer, or oh, there's one already up here. So first thing is I'm going to just create the camera. Uh, copy that color. Get rid of the stroke. Whoop, get rid of the fill. Okay, now it doesn't matter what what size you use for the stroke. I just want to show you that whatever you use, it's um you can change it at any time. Even after your result, you can still change it. Okay, so I'm gonna have um 0.2 as my stroke size. Now I'm gonna whoop, convert curves. Gonna just uh, smooth out these edges. Okay, now I'm gonna create uh, this the top of this camera here. Hold Shift. Okay, now I'm gonna hold Command or Control for Windows and Shift to drag duplicate. Flip horizontal with snapping enabled. Gonna bring this over, and so it snaps. Select both of these. Take the node tool, join. Delete. Get rid of that node. Now bring this to the center. And I'm not tracing the camera exactly. This is because um, I'm updating that this that back icon. All right. Close. Okay, now I'm going to join these two paths. Now I'm going to create a circle. Make sure I'm in the center of the camera. Now sometimes the snapping isn't always uh, precise. Well, this it thinks it's the, the, this top and this bottom. I want it to be more right here. And it's not going to be precise. So hold Command and Shift. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this picture. Oh no, not yet. I want to draw a little, like see this thing? I want to do that. And now I'm going to turn snapping off. Shift. And the same thing I did up here. Okay, now for now for the section that each stroke um, touches another, I don't want to have it um, actually like touching like that. I want it to be touching just faintly, like that. All right, now I'm going to do um, the photo. Okay. 
again, just touching it faintly. And this isn't um, going to be like like expert quality. I just want to show you what you can do. Okay, now these palm trees. And I'll show you a trick. Touch faintly. Oh thank you, jeez. I did that because um, I was scrolling. I was scrolling this way as I was doing that. My mistake. Okay, now it's time for magic. I'm gonna just have this as another color, just so you can see. Whoa. I have the stroke as another color so you can see everything. Okay, so first I'm going to take these two, and now this is all I'm going to do. Reverse the stroke. And now see how we have this gap space here? But now let's say if I wanted to have um, the gap space be a little shorter. So then I'll just take the stroke size, bring it down a little, and then I would move this down so it's still touching, and then reverse the stroke. So this gap space right here is the same size as 0 0.1. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it uh, this way instead. Now for um, the gap that will be going, that will be, uh, you know, like poking a hole through the object, through objects. This is what we're going to do in this case. So I am going to first, I'm going to group this and this together. So Command G. Now I'm going to take this one and go up here in the blend mode and I'm going to go to erase. And now I'm going to bring both of these up here and I'm going to group them. Now I'm going to take these palm trees, do the same thing, press G, uh, Command G. Now I'm going to take this, and now I'm going to blend the palm trees erase, take the camera, erase. And see how that works? It's so easy doing it this way. Okay, now let's say I want to edit this further. Let's say I want to have this camera icon come out a little so it's overlapping the page and then maybe even resize it a bit. I'll show you how you can do that. So I'm going to expand this layer. I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to bring it out a little. Turn snapping off. Resize it. And we can't see it right now because all this uh, knockout space right now. 
I'm gonna turn off the knockoff. Knockout. <laughs> knockoff. And I'm gonna just give it that color just so we can see it right now. And I'm gonna switch the stroke. Switch from fill to stroke. Now, I'm gonna take this curve. I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so for the next step, Imagine this line being outlined over the camera. So imagine this whole icon, like this is the border. Now, there's going to be a little something different we're going to do here. We're not going to trace around the edges. We're going to just have the stroke be faintly touching. Now this isn't gonna work completely because there are some tight, um, some tight spaces where we may not be able to get. Now for this, I'm gonna do this. Oh, dang it, it doesn't reach. So it doesn't reach, I'm gonna just wing it. Okay, now I'm gonna um, cl close this up. Oh. That's right, I want to do this before I close it up. Okay, I'm going to bring this curve down here. And now, I'm going to jump, add these together. I'm actually going to hold Alt and add them together that way so they stay as a compound because I may need to change that again. Now with this path selected, I'm going to take the stroke and I'm going to reverse. I'm going to take the camera, reverse. Reverse. Now take this camera icon. Erase, erase, and there we go. And now if we test this to see if it's actually transparent, we'll see that it is. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, whoop. I'm gonna just bring this over. All right, I hope this video was helpful. So this is how you would go about doing this. Thank you for watching.